Hello and a big welcome back to the Wee Larder channel. Today I'm going to make a delicious family recipe. It's a slow cooked pork and apple casserole. It's so delicious. Now, so I don't cook pork that often in my kitchen. Um, I don't know why, it's just not something I use very often but this recipe reminded me of how delicious it is to cook in a casserole and it's really really affordable as well. I was really surprised at how much I got for my money. So it's such an affordable recipe and it's a really good one to have at this time of year to use up all those lovely seasonal apples. So I actually slow cooked it in the oven but you can transfer this over into a slow cooker if you want to cook it that way as well. So let's get started on our delicious pork and apple um, casserole. So you might want to pause it here at these lovely ingredients so you can get prepared for this recipe. Now to get started we're going to start with our um, cubed pork in our bowl. We're then going to season that with some salt and pepper if you have available. And we're just going to give that a stir through just to coat everything in the salt and pepper. So you're looking for about a teaspoon of salt and probably about the same of pepper as well. We're then going to add in our flour and this is going to help create a nice sauce in the, in the casserole. And we're just going to give that a really good stir through just to make sure that all the pieces of pork are completely coated in the flour. We're now going to heat a small piece of butter in the pan or you can use another type of oil if you like. Um, I like to use butter. So we're just going to melt that down. And we're then going to add all of our pork into the pan. So we're just going to brown all of our pork on all sides. So just make sure you get it all out of the bowl. and just give it a good stir through in the pan. And pop your bowl away and wash your hands as well. <laughs> I know I don't often mention that when I'm cooking, but I do actually wash my hands between handling raw meat and cooking. So it might stick a little bit to the bottom of the pan and that's okay because we're gonna lift all that up when we are cooking our casserole so don't worry about that no flavor is going to be lost here all the flavors of the cooking process are going to be um, retained in this in the casserole so after I've washed my hands I'm going to give that a really good stir through now with my big spoon here and we're just going to cook that just for a few minutes just to brown on all sides so we're not cooking it completely we're just browning the pork here so once we have browned all of our pork, we're just going to transfer that over into a bowl. So it does take a couple of minutes, but if you just take all of the pork out and pop it into a bowl, and we're just going to leave that to the side for a minute. Don't worry about the juices and things in the bottom, that is fine. We're going to be using this pan for cooking up our other ingredients as well. So once you have all your pork in the bowl, we're then going to add our onions into the bottom of our pan our leeks and we're just going to cook those down. You could also add a little bit of celery in here as well um, and we're also going to add in our carrots as well. I'm going to add a splash of water we're just going to cook those down for about five to ten minutes. So we're now popping in our apples. I'm just going to give those a good stir through as well. And we're adding in our garlic as well. And you might think, mm, apples and garlic, but it does actually really work out this recipe. It is so delicious. We're going to add in our stock now and we're going to pop our pork back in there as well. And we're just going to give that a really good stir through again and just simmer away. So we've got the heat on like a low to medium simmer for pretty much this whole cooking session and we're looking for about a medium heat when we're browning the pork as well. So we're going to add in our chopped tomatoes. And we're now going to add in our treacle. 
and the treacle just really makes this dish it just gives it such a delicious flavor it's so good so we're just going to give that a really good stir through now that we have all the treacle off the spoon it's such sticky stuff to deal with um, but once it's in we're just going to mix it all through now we're going to pop a lid on and we're going to pop this into the oven So we're going to pop this into the oven at 170, now that's a fan oven, and we're going to cook it for 45 minutes. So we should have something that looks like this when it is um, after the 45 minutes. And then what we're going to do is take off the lid and we're going to cook it for a further 30 minutes without the lid. So it is bubbling away here just now and it is smelling absolutely amazing. <laughs> so we're just going to give that a wee stir through. And we're going to pop that back into the oven for 30 minutes without the lid. And it should look something like this when it is finished. So the treacle just helps to like caramelize everything. It is just so delicious. And there's such a nice, delicious sauce consistency in here. The sauce is really, really lovely. It's the perfect thing to serve on rice because the rice soaks up all of the delicious flavors. So you can see all your pieces here are still holding their shape, all the vegetables, but they are just cooked to melt in the mouth texture and the pork is cooked really, really well as well. So we're going to serve this up with some warm rice, some freshly grated coleslaw and mayonnaise and some green beans as well. So this would work really well with um, green beans, you could serve it up with potatoes, you could serve it up with root vegetables, just whatever you have available, just go for whatever is available in your fridge. And we're going to add a good helping of our delicious pork on the top there as well. All of these flavours go really, really well together. I love the coleslaw with the pork. It's so delicious. And this would also work really well in a wrap. So you could wrap this up instead of having the rice with the coleslaw. That would be absolutely delicious. And any leftovers could also be eaten up this, the next day in a wrap with the coleslaw as well. So I'm just sprinkling on some herbs here just to finish off. So I hope you enjoyed making your delicious pork. I'd love to see how you used up any leftovers as well. Please feel free to send me a picture over on Instagram. I'm sure you agree it works really well with the coleslaw here. Um, my kids absolutely loved this because everything was, the vegetables were just cooked so well and, and my little one just loved the rice with the pork sauce and she was just scooping it all up and there wasn't a drop left on the plates and she loves green beans as well. Um, she's absolutely obsessed with them. <laughs> and it also went down well with the big kids as well. They loved this recipe as well. So it's definitely a family favourite and one that I will be making again. So I thought I would share this with you all. So I hope you enjoyed making this delicious recipe. I'm sure you agree it's a perfect warming recipe to have at this time of year, especially when there are so many apples available around us just now. <laughs> They're literally falling off the trees in our garden here. Um, and I, I love trying out different recipes and trying to use up our apples, apples in different ways. So this was a really nice way um, to use up all of our lovely apples. And it was just really nice to experiment cooking with pork again because it's not something I use very often here. It's not that I don't like it, it's just I'm just so used to cooking with beef and venison and lamb and things. Um, I also have a box of local pork in the freezer which I did want to use for this recipe and it's literally from over the river from um, my house uh, but I didn't get a chance to use it. I forgot to take it out to defrost it so I will use that in another recipe. It looks really really good um, and I can't wait to show you guys, guys that recipe as well. So if you enjoyed this video please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you click that subscribe button and the little bell next to it I will see you guys again soon and if you love traditional Scottish recipes please feel free to pop over to my website and pick up a copy of my free Scottish cookbook um, just pop in your email and it will be sent to your inbox. So take care everyone, I hope to see you all again soon, lots of love, bye bye.